Farmers can look, but they can't touch. We can't take any machinery onto our farming country. It's too wet, too boggy. It would cause issues with um, compaction. The window for Rosemary Nankerville to sow her summer crops is quickly closing. To keep things moving, growers have resorted to expensive solutions to fertilise and control weeds. Well, it's a great year for the aviation industry. <laughs> to keep everybody off the ground is the big thing. Further south, farmers in the central west are preparing for more rain. It's not only threatening equipment, but livelihoods. It's been unrelenting uh, logistically. It's making everything hard to get grain in and out. It's a nervous time just how we're going to get heavy equipment into some of those paddocks that are just mud at the moment. It was a nice crop. It's underwater now. Ross Emery has been dropping groceries to his parents' isolated house at Bajerabong, west of Forbes. Well, it's been coming up and down all year. We've been sort of on and off stuck for, you know, like a, a week or so, all right through. Multiple areas affected by flooding are now able to access disaster assistance, including concessional loans and freight subsidies for primary producers. But both Labor and New South Wales farmers say not enough landholders know about it. I don't think there's a good awareness and I think we need to encourage all members of the community not to self-assess. People know that if they need help, that there, there, there is help there to be provided. With more rain on the way, it's a confronting time for farmers. Kathleen Ferguson, ABC News, Yarraman.